The views and opinions provided on this show are for informational purposes only and should not be misinterpreted as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, please go to PassiveInvestorShow.com. And now, The Passive Investor Show. Here's your host, John Fortes. Welcome, PI listeners, to The Passive Investor Show. I'm the Passive Investor Consultant, John Fortes, your host of the only ranked podcast for passive investors in multifamily syndications and real estate funds. Our goal and purpose of this show is to be a resource to investors and help them master their passive investments by beating inflation 1% at a time. And we're live. This week, we're going to talk about how to learn to take rejection. A major portion of private equity real estate investment firms goes into dealing with rejection because not every deal, every investor is going to jump in. Even though you are sourcing out and marketing to your potential investor base, Good investors are typically able to invest in about less than 1% of the deals that they come across. At the same time, anecdotes from many successful founders will tell you that they were rejected by tens of investors before finding one that believed in them. That's just a study. So when you're presenting opportunities in front of investors, you're growing your base to be able to find those 10 to 15 investors for any particular deal that you're trying to raise capital for. So your database has to be about 50 investors for 10. So take rejection from an investor in a professional manner and don't aerate them with immediate follow-ups. Sustained radio silence from an investor despite well-spaced pings by you is a rejection. Ask what your venture lacked. And if the investor hasn't shared feedback, keep on plugging the gaps for a few months before going back to them with another opportunity and another better business plan or another investment opportunity, real estate investment opportunity. And keep your chances alive by nurturing those relationships by remaining cordial. Don't overreact. Don't delete investors. Don't not follow up. Always improve what you're trying to do because those investors may potentially invest with you in the future. It's just you have to build more of a rapport with them or you have to come with them with the right opportunity at the right time. So that is how you work through rejection as you're presenting opportunities in front of investors. Don't forget to download your free copy of the investment tracker. It allows you to track up to five investments, compare sponsors, markets, and most importantly, projected versus actual returns. To get your copy, go to www.projectedreturns.com. PI listeners, thank you for listening. As always, we hope this was the best resource for your investment strategy, but also the best use of your time. Remember, if this episode helps you, you can help us by leaving a review on iTunes. I hope you feel compelled enough to share it with someone you think this would resonate with as well. As much as it pains us to leave you, but you know what time it is. Time to go put this into practice. Till the next time we meet, happy investing. PI listeners, I'm grateful for your time and I appreciate you for listening. It would mean the world to me if you went to iTunes and left a rating and written review. Let me know how you feel about the show. It really makes a big difference with getting the podcast out there. Don't forget about our Facebook group, where all of our guests are members of. I'll be there to answer any of your questions or even questions you might have for future guests. Subscribe so you can get the latest episodes and our fan favorite quick hitters. Finally, I want to keep you updated. So head over to johnfortes.com and sign up for the newsletter. If you're interested in partnering with me, sign up on the contact page so you can talk to me directly. I look forward to connecting with you. Happy investing.